Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. Today I have breakfast. I'm doing a breakfast mukbang. I have Starbucks. This is a um iced coffee. I like I get mine made with soy. I'm technically lactose intolerant. I know y'all be seeing me eat stuff with all kind of cheese and sour cream on it sometimes. But when I remember to, or if I have the option to, um, I'll get soy. Um, so I have soy instead of the milk or half and half creamer in here. And then um, I have the regular like coffee syrup and then the uh, vanilla syrup as well. And then I got the oatmeal. I haven't had Starbucks oatmeal in a long time, um, but I remember it being really good. I got the blueberry one this time instead of, um, they have like maple and brown sugar. Um, I have blueberry. Hope y'all can see this. And then they gave me a couple of packs of honey. Oh, this stuff is hot. Hold on, y'all trying to do trying to do this without burning my hand or making a mess I probably should have put the honey in there first huh it, you know the honey is like a natural sweetener versus you having like artificially uh, sweetened or yeah artificially sweetened um, oatmeal like with sugar and they have like danishes and stuff, but I don't know. I just wasn't in the mood for like bread. And I haven't had oatmeal in a long time. And I'm trying to like do better with my eating habits. Um, My iron, I had gone to the doctor and like my iron was low and my vitamin D was low, which like if your vitamin D is low, like that can kill you if it's too low. And mine is like crazy low. And when I found out, oh, it says fruit and nut and seed medley. Um, I found out like that's why I've been feeling so weird. Like it was like a nauseated feeling, like like fatigue, but it was like nausea, and you kind of feel like you want to faint a little bit too. Like it's weird. Um. And I had been feeling that for a while. And I thought, like, maybe I was dehydrated. Like, I'm not getting enough water or something. But I've been going hard on the water. So, I'm like, what is my problem? So, I went and got a physical. And they did some blood work. They did, like, lab tests. And they did, like, a full panel of lab tests. And um, for the most part, I'm completely healthy. My blood pressure was good. And, um... I just need to get my vitamin D up and I need to increase my iron intake. Definitely want to make sure I feel my best. <clears throat> There's nothing worse than not feeling good. Can y'all see this? I don't, I don't want to tip it over because this stuff is really hot. I'm pretty hungry though, so I know this. Ooh, this is hot. This is like hot to hold in my hand. Um, I know this is gonna be good. I used to get this every morning a couple years ago. <clears throat> the maple and brown sugar one. I don't think they had blueberries as an option at that time. Speaking of like getting physicals, I hope y'all are going to the doctor and getting checked out. Like beyond just like going for like COVID testing. I hope that y'all are going to the dentist and going to the doctor and you know, making sure that you're okay. Doing like a self checkup physically and mentally. Ooh, let me pray first. Lord, I thank you for this food. I thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for Starbucks. Bless that establishment. Um, Bless the hands that prepared uh, this coffee and this oatmeal for me. Um, ask that you let this be nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, yeah, I hope that y'all are taking care of yourselves. 
and getting checked out. I know that I speak on mental health a lot on my channel, but y'all need to be going and getting checked out physically too. Get your yearly physical women. Get y'all's woman wellness exams and y'all mammograms if you're old enough to have to get those. If you ain't feeling right, go get checked out. And sometimes you not feeling good can come from you just doing too much. Like you need to sit down somewhere. Are you trying to do everything all the time? Are you trying to be 15 places at once? Or you got 50 people calling your phone all day and all night? Sometimes you got to take a break. Sometimes you just need to get some rest. Like, like sit still for like a whole day or a few hours. And some people don't want to do that because they feel like they wasting their time or they wasting hours in a day. But like, if you if you're doing a lot, even even if you're exerting yourself like mentally, eventually it'll show up physically where you feel like fatigued and tired all the time. But it's because you need to rest mentally. You need to like have a day where. You can escape that. Take a self-care day. Which could be you sleeping in or you just have a whole day where you don't do nothing. Catch up on your shows or, you know, go to the grocery store and get the healthy food or go on a mini vacation or something. But you got to take care of yourself. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. It's important. And if you trying to get on track with taking care of yourself spiritually, like considering these crazy world events if you don't if you don't feel prompted to get in line to get in alignment spiritually now i don't know what's wrong with you all this crazy stuff happening in this world and you need to be locked in you need to be praying You need to be trying to be in good emotional and mental standing. You need to assess all of the friendships and relationships that you have in your life. Like, right? for real. If it's time to make changes, if it's time for a new chapter, a new phase in your life, do that. You definitely don't want to miss out on what you could have had because you didn't move when it was time for you to move. You didn't act when it was time for you to act. You didn't follow that urge to pray when you should have prayed, you know? You didn't go to the doctor when you should have went to the doctor. And you knew you weren't feeling right, you know? I'm trying to tell y'all, take care of yourself. And you want to live a long life. It's getting harder and harder to do that. Live right, eat right, do right by people. Take care of yourself. It's important. I'm 
pretty good. This is low key kind of a lot of oatmeal. It's like the perfect consistency too. Like not too thick, but not soupy. It was like right in the middle. Like sticky. I love oatmeal, but I don't like grits at all. But I like porridge. And por porridge is literally like <laughs> the consistency of porridge is like right between oatmeal and grits. But I definitely love oatmeal. Finished it. Yeah, y'all. That's all I was trying to say. Take care of yourself. I wanted to remind y'all because some people... Some people don't be trying to go get help until they about to fall out. And I'm guilty of it myself because I know I'll be trying to just thug it out. I'll be trying to just figure it out on my own or, you know what I mean, do a little quick little remedy or something. But sometimes that's not enough and sometimes you have to like buckle down and get some help. Go deeper than just what you think is working. good and you know what you can tell when it's made with fresh coffee and this tastes like it was a fresh pot oh that perfect coffee taste this coffee tastes exactly like how coffee tasted when I was okay I started drinking coffee when I was in kindergarten right my grandma was my school teacher and I was in her class and uh at the end of the day like she had a huge mug of coffee and at the end of the day when she's cleaning up you know her desk or whatever and we're about to leave because i would go home from school with her she would tell me to go and pour it out and i would act like i was going to go pour it out but I really i was drinking it and i was like guzzling it and mind you i'm like five <laughs> i was drinking coffee but it was good and my grandma loves like sweet stuff so like her coffee was super sweet and it had that perfect like vanilla flavor but i think she used vanilla creamer it could have been um what's that called oh i can't think of the name of that cream creamer but it comes in like a blue bottle with a like a cream looking top i remember it at a random moment but yeah this tastes exactly like that like fresh coffee with the creamer in it. It gave me a lot of nostalgia. <clears throat> if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely hit that subscribe button and share this video with a friend. Share this video with people that you know need a little reminder, they need a little nudge. Um, People that you know are the type of people that rip and run and do this and that and they don't know how to sit down and they doing everything all the time and they stressed or they just you know what i mean the person that does that's just that just don't know how to take a break send this to them everybody needs a reminder everybody needs a little push a little nudge like i'm trying to tell y'all please get checked out please get what you need mentally physically spiritually emotionally Get what you need and do whatever you got to do to be your best self. Whatever it's going to take. Whether you have to add stuff or subtract stuff or make some shifts or some changes, set some boundaries. Whatever it's going to take. I just want y'all to take care of yourselves so that y'all can be happy and healthy and whole and like in great standing going forward with whatever other craziness waits for us in 2021. I'm hoping for an amazing year, but like... We need, to be, we need to be all the way together. So, that's my two cents. Um, I hope that y'all have a blessed day and peace out.